Okay, so today we are looking at one interesting plugin. I'm currently working on one project where I need to implement one function. And uh, yeah, I found one plugin which will do exactly what I need. So why not look together, you know, I will try to test this plugin out, see how this works and why not share this knowledge with you. So the specific plugin today I'm looking at is Renewal Reminders. And uh, to be more specific, this is basically working only with WooCommerce subscriptions. So it's basically a subscription next payment reminder. So this, I do believe something will be soon in the future as requirement. So it might be built at some point as well in WooCommerce or WooCommerce subscriptions itself inside. But yeah, currently there is basically one free plugin, which is made by Store Pro, and uh, yeah, I will show you how we will set up it and then I will do a test so I can show you as well what will be the end result and does it actually meet our kind of needs and requirements. So I'll just simply start by installing it. And I will activate it as well. So it's very simple, it just basically does one function. And let's go to the settings and see what we have. So very first one is basically it asks us to kind of synchronize our subscription data. Let's do that. That now is complete and we will redirect to the settings page. So as you can see, we have a new section now here on the sidebar and there is just two tabs. One is synchronization and then we have a settings tab where we can enable disable email notification. So this is basically email notification, which will be sent to our kind of subscribers, reminding them that their next payment coming up. And uh, yeah, that's what it basically does. So we have option where we can set days before reminder notification. So that's how many days before we will be sending out that notification. So in my case, I will just put two days. Uh, then we have option to adjust the time as well. I will leave it now as it is. Then we have next option which we can customize is email subject. So let me quickly grab that and I will just copy in. So I will name it as a reminder. Your subscription renewal from demo.melders.com is in two days. So that's how much days I said there. Then we have some email content, which by default is high first name, last name. Uh, this is an email just to let you know your subscription is expires on next payment date. And you can avoid this if already renewed, thanks. So this copy is probably not the best, simply because there can be situation that your subscription is not actually expiring because if your subscription, for example, is for the membership, which is without expiry date, so it's basically running forever till it's actually stopped by either side of the admin of the website or it's stopped by the kind of subscriber itself. So this is not really true because what this plugin does, it's actually looking for next payment date. So it don't necessarily mean that that's an expiry date for the subscription. So this copy is a bit wrong. So what we will do in that case, I'll just copy my own version of this one, which will be much better in this situation. So that will look something like that. So we will say hi first name. So we have a shortcuts where we can pull out first name and last name. I will just stick with first name. Then I will say that this email is just to let you know that your next subscription payment is due and then will be our date here because this is the shortcut which will pull out the next subscription date. And then we will say for more details visit your account here. So that's going to be simply the link to my account page where they can find their uh, kind of orders, they can find their subscription and see all the rest of the data and manage them as well of course. And just in case, I will, I will say as well, make sure that you are logged in. Thanks and just a website kind of. So this copy can be adjusted as you need. Only thing what is interesting now is that we don't have any options here to test this kind of email out to see how it will look. 
So what I basically will do from here, I will just now hit save changes and I need to make sure that I will enable email notifications as well. So now I will basically go set up kind of a test subscription. So I'll probably work around time as well just to get it now in for myself. And once I will have a result of the email, I will be back and I will show you how the email will look like and we will take a look together how it's actually has been created and generated from here. I do believe it should use WooCommerce kind of email template. Is it's gonna be true? We will see in a minute. Okay, and just like that we are back now. So I did force the email copy to see how it looks like and uh, yeah. So this is basically how it's gonna look. So it simply adds our kind of uh, subject of the email, which is a reminder your subscription renewal from demo.melders.com is in two days. That's all correct. It sends to actual subscriber email. Then we are getting this title here, which is not kind of uh, changeable. So it simply says renewal reminder. That's kind of okay. And then there is our kind of copy, which is hi Uldis. As you can see in this case, it's now pulling out my first name, which is all correct. This email is just to let you know that your next subscription payment is due May 27, 2023. So today is May 25, so that's all good. That's like exactly two days. And for more details, visit your account, which is taking to my account page. I'll show you that in a minute. So all that is great here. What this template is basically missing, because it is kind of using the color from the WooCommerce email template, which is correct. Uh, this is how it should actually should look. So as you can see from here, it's missing my logo in this template. So developers, if they are watching this video, can take a kind of attention on this and add the logo probably as well in. And it's missing probably the footer section here as well with the title, which should be kind of in the template in as well. Not kind of big deal, but it is kind of what it is here. Okay, so that's about that. Let's go now to our website and if I would click on this link here it will open a new page and I will get to this page here where I can go of course in my subscriptions and that's where I can see that my next payment is due in next in two days which is absolutely correct and uh, yeah from here as well of course you don't need to do anything it's just the information but as you can see, we can manage actions from here as well with our subscription kind of next payment. So that's it. That's how it's kind of working. I will be still doing a testing because like I said, I now forced to receive this email. Uh, this is again, probably something developers could add in, you know, quick way how you can check out the template which you created. If it's all looking good before you actually go live with this kind of uh, feature. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you actually need to wait the time if you don't have like demo website where you can try it out. Uh, but if you will follow my kind of uh, instructions which I gave, that should be all working out. If there, I will notice something else different, I will of course leave all in down in description. And uh, yeah, so go check out that if there is some new information after this video. So don't miss that one out. So I hope you like this video. If so, hit that like. Consider to subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next one when we will be doing something else. Ciao.